Welcome back Autistic Ladies and Gentlemen to the first ever fantastic episode in this Pokemon TCG online series in fantastic episodes. I take a look at deck lists that were sent to me by author PTC Joe. Pedro PNC or no Pedro NPCS with a fighting and a colors deck is going to be our opponents. This time no item lock or no weakness. This time more of a more common match, a match where we should have an average chance if we can set up, I guess. Although fighting eggs do hit pretty hard, so that's a problem. But if we can get our confusion going with our polywag, maybe maybe we can pull off some miracles. We do start off with the shaman. We seem to like to start off with our shaman, don't we? I think we do seem to like to start off with our shaman. And a carving, that's okay. We don't care about the carving. We will sycamore this entire hand away. Because we have to. We are forced to do it. And we have to discard some more Pokemon here. We'll have to discard the Poliwhirl and the Poliwrath. Grab ourselves a Poliwag. Only three Poliwags in our deck. We do have another Shaman, so I'm going to discard even more cards. I'm going to discard the Switch and a Politoed. We have our Sacred Edge though, so I don't mind discarding so many Pokemon. And we grab our Shaman to draw into some more cards. We need more cards. More cards is what we need. More cards. We are very hungry here. We need some draw support for the next turn. And more Poliwax. Look at that. That is fantastic. But we don't get draw support. That is not so fantastic. Well, well let's end our turn. We will hold on to the rest of our cards. For now. For now. Maybe we get lucky and we can top deck a rare candy. Then we can rare candy into our Politoads. We see Gibble and a Gibble and a Professor's Letter. Is that what we are seeing? Yes, it is. All right. No Focus Sash. Unless my opponent has a Focus Sash in his hands. So this is a pretty good matchup for us as long as we don't see Lucario or Garchomp because it is Evolutions versus Evolutions. And we can actually hit harder than my opponent, I think. Ah, we top deck the Poliwhirl. Well then. Let's use our Sacred Ash. Let's shuffle all of these Pokemon back into our deck. We are going to dive ball for one Poliwhirl, one Poliwhirl, one Poliwhirl. I cannot, I cannot pronounce it for the love of God. And yes, all right. Do we discard this Poliwrath to grab another Poliwhirl? No, I won't. I am not going to do that. Because we can always attack with the Poliwag if necessary. So in the next turn, I, I, I'll know. Oh no, I evolved the wrong Poliwag. I evolved the Poliwag with the Muscle Bands. I meant to evolve another Poliwag. Because now if we evolve this Poliwhirl into our Politoad, then that Muscle Band has gone to waste. And we only discarded a Muscle Band as well. That was a misplay. I'm so sorry I did that. I am so very sorry, and we might even see a knockout on our Shaman here, but that's okay. I don't want to waste my Poliwax. Oh, uh, never mind. Uh, does not have a switch, so we'll just see a Turbo Assault for 40 damage. Because Shaman has uh, resistance and a Battle Compressor, we buy ourselves a turn here. Amazing, we buy ourselves a turn. We will try to confuse the Garchomp, even though the Garchomp can simply retreat, but that's... Uh, should force my opponent to retreat back into the carbink because he did not have another gibble on the bench so he cannot get another garchomp out in the next turn to attack with or to retreat into an ultra ball is going to discard some more cards another garchomp two garchomps in a discard pile all right that's good for us if we can find anything from the top deck if we can get going here and maxi is hidden ball trick never mind my opponent grabs another garchomp so there goes our plan with the confusion. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Pardon me. There goes our plan. Level ball. We are going to. If we top deck a rare candy, we'll discard the Poliwhirl and the uh, town map rare candy into our Politoad. And that turn for my opponent was just too good. Turbo sold for 40. It was just too good. It was way too good for our liking. Oh, actually. Accelerates onto the Garchomp itself. Uh, we get a Poliwhirl. 
Alright, so we can attack with the Poliwhirl if we want to. Even though the Poliwhirl will go down. Do we do that or do we not? No, we won't. We are going to give my opponent a KO here on the Shaman. Maybe on the Shaman without the Float Stone. Yes. And we are going to preserve the Poliwhirl or the Poliwrath for the next turn. And in the next turn we can evolve into our Poliwrath as well as our Politoad. Both of them. And then we can put 60 on... Uh, actually 80 on the Garchomp and then 30 on another Garchomp. And we can quite easily then deal with the Garchomp since my Garch the Garchomps cannot uh, one-hit KO us. We cannot one-hit KO them but we will get the first hit on the Garchomps. As long as we don't see a Lysander on our other Shaman we should have a chance here. If we can deal with the Garchomps well enough. There's two prizes from our opponent. We will promote our Poliwhirl. And we are going to execute our plan. Oh my goodness, we top deck, we top deck the Poly, Poly Toad actually. Which is great. That is just fantastic. We top deck it, so we don't need to use our Ultra Ball. We can use our Town Map then. Use our Town Map here. Take a look at our prizes. Two VS Seekers are prize. That explains a whole lot. I would love to find my Max Potions though. Uh, I could put 30 on a Gibble and maybe threaten the knockout on a Gibble instead so I can then grab a Max Potion. Let's actually do that. Let's put 30 on the Gibble. So 80 on the Garchomp and 30 on the Gibble. My opponent will probably retreat into another Garchomp. But then we can grab a Viet Seeker from the prizes and then Sycamore. I'm not going to grab the Max Potion. It's going to be one turn too late because my opponent will hit us for 100 damage right here. And even if we heal up some of the damage with our Rough Seas, uh, my opponent can still one hit KO us in the next turn. You see another energy on the Garchomp on the bench. And then we will see a retreat. AZ is up the Gibble. Never mind. Has the AZ to AZ up the Gibble. Away goes our 30 damage. I gotta say my opponent has is pretty lucky. I don't think I'm wrong in saying that. I think my opponent has pretty nice hands. And can deal pretty well here with our with what we are trying to do. We cannot even take a prize anymore now, so we cannot even use a Sycamore and escape rope. Doesn't matter, we need... Oh, we actually can take a prize because we knock out this Garchomp. My opponent did not retreat. We'll put 30 again on the Gibble. My opponent does not retreat. I don't know why. My opponent should have definitely retreated there. We will grab ourselves a Via Seeker. It's tempting to grab the Poliwag, but we need to... We need to... Draw through our deck. I could have actually grabbed the AZ and AZ'd up my Shaman. Maybe later on I will do that. But I need to draw through my deck some more here. As much as I can. It is very, very important. A muscle band on the guard jump, uh, on the Gabites. Can we find a rare candy for a Polyrath? That's what I'm looking for. So we can knock out that, that Gibble on the bench. An Ultra Ball is going to discard a Hammer and a Sycamore. We haven't seen a single Lysenor or a single VS Seeker. There's another Gabite. So now we cannot knock out that Gibble. Now we cannot knock it out. Maybe you can just pull off an Archie. That would be great. If you could pull off an Archie, Maxis hit him ball trick. Yeah, an Archie would be fantastic. And look at that, my opponent does pull off a Maxi, so can we do the same? Can we pull off an Archie? Another uh, Garchomp, look at that. Yeah, my opponent is super lucky. I mean, that is just... Just super lucky to do that. There's no better words to describe that. I think that's fair to say. Certainly with a deck like his, which is fairly similar to us. Uh, plays a lot of supporters, a lot of item cards. Not too many energies, and he managed to pull off two Archies while we, or two Maxis, while we didn't manage to do anything like that. Uh, muscle Band, let's put that on our Poliwag. Then, there's nothing else we can do here. We will seek a more. No use for the Escape Rope, no use for the Ultra Ball. So let's discard both of them. We get a Poliwhirl, a Rare Candy, and a Max Potion. We needed the Poliwag, uh, the, the Poliwrath, we needed the Poliwrath, we miss out, we miss out. If we attack with our Poliwhirl, the Poliwhirl will get knocked out by the Garchomp and that leaves us with no other Pokemon. So again, I have to let the Shaman get knocked out, there is nothing else we can do. Shaman needs to go down, needs to take a hit for us because we were simply unlucky there. 
simply unlucky. That is what we are, and my opponent is simply lucky. It is a simply lucky player against a simply unlucky player. Bite off for the knockouts, uh, fight for your belt, uh, focus edge on the guard jump on the bench. We are losing the match, which should be a very nice match for us, or at least a very exciting match, but it is not, it is not here. And there is the dive ball, one turn too late. One turn too late, one turn too late. Well, we can end at the very least, we can end here. Do I want to end or do I want to do that in the next turn? Because we can always max potion. We have the max potion for the next turn. So maybe let's hit for the steamroll for 80. Put 30 more on that Gabite on the bench. And we will max potion in the next turn. And heal off all the damage. We have a couple more max potions and we can grab another max potion from the prizes. Yes, I think it was good for me to hold on to my hands. So we can max potion. Bite off. Maybe this is not GG. Maybe we just managed to pull off something. Something like a miracle here. Alright, max potion it is. We need to chain max potions though. We need to chain them. And then it's time to end. Give ourselves five, five cards and my opponent down to one card. And there's another max potion, fantastic, we even get a Lysener, look at that, that is just great. We will hit for the Steamroll, we even get a Sacred Ash. Do I want to get any more Pokemon out though? I don't think so, because my opponent can always Lysener them and one hit KO them. So we will have to do with the Polyrath. Let's put 30 on the Gabites. 80 on, on, yes this is the Gabites, I thought it was Gibble, but it's the Gabites. Let's grab ourselves another max potion. No need for the VS Seeker, the AZ, or anything like that. And right now, two Garchomps have 80 damage on them, and we can deny. We can deny two Bite Offs, unless we see double strong energy. Unless we see double strong energy. Can my opponent find any more strong energies? We end him down to two cards here, to one card and one card from the top deck, so I hope he does not find any more strong energies. I really hope he does not. Can we make an epic comeback? Can we pull it off? He needs to keep one of those guard jumps in the active spot because he cannot attack with the guard jump on the bench there. Unless he wants to just uh, sacrifice the guard jump on the bench while he looks for his uh, other strong energies. But then we can start sniping here with our 30 damage. And there's a bite off for 120. We will take a knockout here. And we are going to put. Um, let's heal up first of all. We are going to put 30 on the guard jump on the bench there. No need to put 30 on the guard jump on my opponent's... Uh, the other guard jump on his bench, no need to do that. Because we cannot KO it anyways. Uh, if we do that, we will grab ourselves a VS Seeker, so we can VS Seeker for a Lysener. We have the Lysener and we, if my opponent promotes this Garchomp, we will Lysener the other Garchomp, knock it out and maybe, maybe pull off the comeback, maybe, 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 maybe. He could still find a Carbink Break, so maybe we need to Lysener the Carbink, so we cannot see a Carbink Break at some point to accelerate strong energies from the discard pile. I think we might have to do that. There's an energy on that Garchomp, he does find an energy from the top deck. Turbo Assault, alright, we need to heal that off, we need to knock out this, uh, this Garchomp and I'm going to put 30 more on the Garchomp on the bench there. And there's a strong energy, it does accelerate the strong energy. Alright, this is going to be a very important turn here, let's heal up. Let us heal up. And then let's knock out my, my opponent's Pokémon. No need to do anything else, we need to hit for the knockout, steamroll for... 30 on that guard jump on the bench. Bring ourselves down to two prizes. What shall we grab? Let's grab the AZ. Alright, let's grab the AZ. Why not? We don't have any use for uh, the dive ball or the polywag at the moment. Promotes the guard jump. He needs a strong energy. Does he miss out on a strong energy? Please tell me he misses out on a strong energy. Give me a Lysener, a Lysener. So now we need to find our floatstone. We need to find our floatstone. And oh my goodness. Please. No, he did Tom Deck. Oh no. Oh no, he cannot he cannot seek more. Bite off. He cannot seek more. He cannot seek more. Um 
First of all, let's battle compress. Let's take a look at our deck. What do we have in our deck? Are you kidding me? Where's all our float stones? Escape rope in a, in a discard pile. Two float stones and switch. No! No! Bridget. Dive ball. We cannot retreat. We cannot retreat. Let's discard a teammate. Let's discard the Bridget. Let's discard the Archie. We need to AZ and then we need to Archie in the next turn. Can we do that? I don't think we can. I don't think we can. That Lysener. That Lysener. I cannot believe that. We need to AZ. We are out of switching options. The comeback of the century got disrupted. The comeback of the century got disrupted there. Since we had all of our switching cards in the discard pile. Let's uh, bench the Poliwag. Might as well get out another Poliwag. We'll discard our Lysener. Actually, I could have Lysenered maybe. Lysenered the Carbink. But then my opponent will probably, would probably have found an energy from the from the Sycamore, because I think my opponent plays more energies, and it is very likely that he would have, so that was another another play, you could have done, we could have done that, but I think that was a little bit too risky. Uh, we will discard, we will discard the Lysander, and... Um, the N. We do have the Rare Candy here. So we can knock out the Garchomp in the next turn if my opponent does not find a strong energy. But we know he has a Sycamore, we know he has a chance at finding strong energies. Oh, we don't have any more Poliwags. Are you kidding me? We don't have any more Poliwags. I should have used my Sacred Ash first. How come we don't have all oh, one Poliwag is prized? I forgot about that Poliwag. I was counting them in my head, but one is prized. That's why. That is why. Well, let's take another look at our deck then. No more max potions either. So we cannot heal. We do still have the three rough seas, which is insane. We do still have the three rough seas. Um, well, we only need the one polywag anyways. And we won't see a Lysener from our opponent. We know that. So let's end our turn. And let's see what my opponent can do. Can he find a strong energy? If he does, it is GG. If he does not, it is basically... A win for us, unless he can power up the carving break. There's a Sycamore discarding. What was that? What was that? Uh, repeat ball. Trainer's Mail. Trainer's Mail. He doesn't have a strong energy, does he? He doesn't have it. Does he really miss out? Trainer's Mail. Oh my goodness. It is not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. It is not over yet. Um. <laughs> I'm sitting here with my eyes wide open. I'm, I'm completely, completely, my heart's completely racing here. My hands are on my head. Oh, and there it is. There's the energy on the carbink. The carbink can come in and hit for the KO in the next turn. The carbink can come in and hit for the KO unless we AZ up our Polyrath. But we need to knock out the Garchomp here, so we cannot do that. It's going to be so close. There's a Turbo Salt. Yes, alright. My opponent was wise there. Turbo Salt onto the Carbink. Strong energy. Can hit for 60 right now. And 60 is just enough. Unless unless we find our Rough Seas. Ladies and gentlemen, can we find our Rough Seas? Can we dig that Rough Seas up out of our deck? And I think we've got a good chance. Uh, let's uh, Sacred Ash here. No, no, no. I, I should not have done that. Well, too late. I don't know why I did that. I was thinking of getting back. I was thinking of getting back um, uh, another polywag, polywag. Bench another polywag. But if I do that, my opponent can lysen it out. So I should not have done that. That was a complete misplay. Uh, well, then let's grab another of these Pokemon that we shuffled back. Hopefully that not did not disturb my uh, finding my rough seas here. So we'll we will uh, grab a Poliwhirl and we are going to Sycamore. We are going to Sycamore. No use for the teammates. We need the rough seas. ASAP. Can we find the rough seas? Oh! 
Oh yes, we have the shamans, we have the shamans. I was so scared there. Let's discard. We did miss out on RFCs. Let's discard. Sycamore. Poliwhirl and a Poliwag. We did miss out on RFCs, but we have three, so we have a 50% chance here of finding RFCs. I'm not going to bench the Poliwag. It can be licensed out. And we still have a Vietseeker for an AZ here. Please. Yes. Yes, we did get it. Oh my goodness. I nearly fucked myself there because I shuffled back my Pokemon in my deck. With another strong energy, this card can hit for 80. That is not enough for a knockout. So we'll hit for a steamroll for 80 there for the knockout. 30 on the carving. And I think we got it. I think we have taken the game here. I think we've taken it. It's unbelievable. We win the game. It is mind blown. Mind blown. Corina, alright, Corina, that's okay. He can still see a retreat or something, but we hit for 80, so we knock out whatever my opponent gets out, except if it is a Lucario. If he gets out a Lucario, then he somehow turns this game around again. Uh, Gibble and a Focus Ash. Oh, he can promote the Gibble with the Focus Ash. Can promote the Gibble with the Focus Ash. But we can Lysener, we can Lysener, we can Lysener the Carving. Power Gem, never mind. What? GG gives up, Give, gives up, he gives up, rough seas, heal, knockout, 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 let's go for the knockout, steamroll, yes, 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 oh my goodness, oh my goodness, the comeback, the comeback, it's insane, it's insane, oh, that is I cannot believe it! That is the best game I have ever I have ever played. I probably made some misplays in there. I don't care that I made misplays, but that is the best game I have ever played. Not in terms of making the right move, but just overall the most enjoyable, crazy, insane game on the PTCG. Oh ladies and gentlemen! I I don't know, leave a like, this is worthy of a like, come on now, if you don't leave a like on this video right here, I don't know what you are expecting from the PTCGO, this was pure gold this match, this was fantastic, the highlight of my channel so far, let's take a look at the stats. 880 damage versus 1200, freaking Polyrath MVP against Garchomp, mind blown, mind blown, I don't have any words for this, I don't have any words for this, I thought we had lost the match at several points and then somehow, some way, I am uh, full of emotions right now, this is beautiful, 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 please, please share this with your friends or anyone you care about and show them how exciting the PTCGO can be, we need more players on the PTCGO, we need more matches like this, share this video, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, so hopefully I can get another video to you like this at some point in the future, because this was really one of a kind, alright, I'm rambling, I will shut up, I will, I will go be happy in a corner of my room, I hope you have a truly, a truly fantastic day and I will see you uh, next time with another Poliwhirl or Polito deck and Polito deck, this time my own deck. This was the deck from Davidoff, uh, leave a comment if you enjoyed this deck, give him uh, some uh, nice pats on the back because I think it is a pretty nice deck. Alright, see you next time. Carp, carp, carp. Go, 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 go